All right. Welcome. Welcome one. Welcome all. Welcome children of the night. To the Oyasumi podcast. And I'd like to thank you all at the top of our episode for um, for tuning in. Did you like that? I said it like a British person would say it. Yeah. Tune. Tuesday. Tuesday. I like it. Um, <laughs> would you like to count us in? Or what shall I? Two, three. Oh, yeah, Sumi. <laughs> Welcome. You will notice that we're not in bed at the moment. Yeah. Like, usual. like our usual shtick. Um, it is still evening. Uh, so that's good. Yeah, anyway. Well, how was your week? It was weird. But I also blame daylight savings because I'm still tired. Fuck daylight savings. Why do we still have it, honestly? I don't know. It's stupid. Arizona doesn't have it. And Arizona doesn't have it? Yeah. I'm going to text Connor. Is that I, true? Yeah. He laughs at us every time we complain. He's like, Haha, Arizona doesn't do it anymore. It's just... Us and like the like, uh, it's not just us. It's the rest of the country. But like, we're the only country. <laughs> right. Right. Are we sliding or is it just me? I think we're sliding. You're you're all gonna have a slow descent here. Um. Anyway, daylight saving sucks. It's throwing me off. Um. I don't know. I've, ha- I've had a week shrouded in anxiety. Yeah. I've had a month shrouded in anxiety. My stress has been too high for me to remember. Right. Anything. I looked at apartments. Yeah. Um, we looked at one on Wednesday, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, it wasn't bad. It was okay. It was... Like, like, the vibes weren't bad, but it wasn't... It's not my first choice anymore. Like, no, the vibes... It really was. <laughs> right. Here, hold this so I can fix it again. Right. <laughs> Which is okay. <laughs> but for the price, I've found much better places. Yeah. And, so, yeah. Yeah. No, I agree. We're looking for a place. Oh, we're sliding. For real? All right. We're back. We're back. And, yeah. Um, we're looking for apartments. And so our studio might change. Oh, yeah. I.e. bed slash here in the next couple months um but i'm planning on setting up a place just for this kind of and my like writing and daily stuff uh hopefully so we'll see um nice let me tell you something i've been uh i've been really getting into uh sea of thieves again playing that game it's so goddamn fun it's um i'm really into pirate vibes even though i've never sailed a day in my life no but you've been on boats at least yeah who hasn't been on a boat i guess people and a lot of people people. okay are you kidding me all right yeah no i'm Okay, maybe a lot of people haven't been on boats, but um, just not sailboats. Um, your dad has a sailboat. That's what a Hobie cat is. is. I knew it had a sail. I guess any boat with a sail is a sailboat, huh? I guess I didn't really think about that. No. Did you? Yeah. I think you... What happened that... You were like... Your back was thrown out. <gasps> That's what... Oh, I remember. Oh, that was bad. Like in so much pain. 
And my dad was up there, and so we went out on the boat. Yeah, I remember that now. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Oh, and I'm having rum because of the pirate vibes. In a tiki glass. In a tiki glass. I'm all about... Look, if nothing else, I'm all about tiki pirate Mm -hmm. vibes. Oh, yeah, Aaron took me to a tiki bar. I had a zombie, and I got fucking zoinked. (laughs) I got fucking shmammered. It was the shit. It was a proper zombie with fucking uh, the green fairy in it. A whole lot. There was so much in that thing. It was ridiculous. It was practically, um, what's that stupid thing called that you used to do at parties? Jungle Jungle juice. Jungle juice. Which that was gross. This tasted good. Jungle juice is gross. Right. What? Did it? (laughs) No, it was gross. Because it was basically just whatever you had. Whoever made it, which was usually like 19-year-old girls just dumped whatever alcohol they could afford into it. Gross. Right. I don't know. Prosecco. Like Prosecco and like watermelon vodka and shit. It's like it's the worst. Oh man. Mixture. You just gave me a headache just saying that. I know. It was bad. Prosecco and watermelon vodka. Are you fucking kidding me? And like raspberry vodka with whipped cream. Like Yeah. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, that's the yeah. grossest fucking flavor. I'll tell you what it tastes like. No need to go to the liquor store and get any. Have you ever had cough syrup? Yeah. That's really what it is, though. That's Jesus Christ. So <sighs> that be, I haven't even been to that many parties, but that happened a lot. Yeah. People are like, let's make jungle juice. And yeah. I'm like, no, because it's always bad. It's always like, bad. They make it a good like, punch, but they never did. Well, yeah, but then it would just be a punch and not... I mean, I think what the point of made it like, like artisan-like, yeah, I guess. Yeah, like, what if you made it like pineapple and coconut and um, banana stuff, like jungle fruit? I'd slay that shit. Drinks, and it doesn't have to be all alcohol. You can make like put pineapple juice in there, and then add rum and like your drink, like the zombie. Like, make it good. Right. <laughs> but no one ever did. No, it was pretty bad. Cough syrup smearing off and and bad bad mornings. Um, uh, a Native American woman's on the cabinet. Oh yeah, that's dope as shit, dude. Mm-hmm. I just saw that on the news. I guess, I guess we I both have, were I, there. I honestly just heard about it, so I know nothing about. No, nothing. Yeah. But uh, I'm gonna look that up because that's really awesome. Yeah, that's dope as shit. Um, About time. Oh, for sure. Like, that's been the same I didn't know. Yeah, I didn't know she was the first. I feel like. I know. Isn't that stupid? <laughs> well, it's the same with Kamala Harris is the first woman vice president. That's how. That's fucking crazy. I didn't it's like, like. We've been around so. Uh, it's been. It's ridiculous. I didn't really think about. The, I mean, like I knew like that's been said, you know, but I, I didn't really. Like think process about it, it, process it until just now. Nuts. Yeah, it's crazy. I'm still kind of, I don't even like love Kamala Harris. There's things I like that she talks about, but like just the fact that it's. I mean, even the even England had a prime a woman prime minister. I mean, I heard she was a, I heard I heard she was a grade A bitch. I know Queen Elizabeth. I've been fucking up, uh, Queen Queen Elizabeth the first. I've been fucking up some Ugh. some history on that shit because I'm listening to the Pirate History podcast oh, yeah. because again right now I'm all about the pirate slash tiki vibe. It's funny though cuz it's pr- it's crossing lines with I'm into the medieval stuff again. Dude. And so it was like Elizabeth the first is this is medieval well it's renaissance. It's not medieval. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's Elizabethan. It's medieval. Right? That's what they call the era, right? In England, yeah. You mean it's not called that in other places? Well, English people might call it that in other places, but in England. <laughs> if you're in Italy, they're like, no, fuck you. 
Why not? The Italian Renaissance. Fuck the Italian <laughs> Renaissance. Not? Because it was, it's different. Fuck the Italian Renaissance. It's Elizabethan. Um, excuse you. Shakespeare forever. Slash Marlowe. Yeah, no one ever remembers Marlowe. Shut whatever you're about to say. I'm not saying anyone's better than Shakespeare, but not I'm not saying this for his art either. But Michelangelo was such a bitch. <laughs> Wait, such a bitch? How? What do you mean? He just fucked with everybody. Because he you so wait, good. but do you mean like like you are such a bitch, or yeah. like okay, okay, so not like you're such a little bitch, but. He but also was For the Sistine Chapel, actually. Really? So he just fled the country because Florence was a country at the time. Yeah. Was Italy. And they're like, <laughs> he sent people out after him to just capture him alive. The Pope? <laughs> and bring him back. Not the Pope. It was the. Um, it was like the priest, I think, of. Isn't that the Pope? Castle. Not in Florence. Unless, um, I mean. Wait. Shit, I might be mixing shit up. Maybe, I, now I have to remember where the Sistine Chapel is, because I think Florence all the time. I could be wrong. One of us is technically... That's really upsetting. What? Did you fuck it up? No, that I can't remember which city it, it, it is. You're a historian. I know. I do this a lot, though, where I'll be talking about something, and I'll remember that I got the city wrong. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> but that's, it's just the name of the city. It's the same story. Right. Different place. Well, you know. If I were writing a paper, I would actually. If you're writing a paper. Writing. Oh, um, speaking of, I do roids. Ooh. <laughs> what, what were you gonna say? I do roids in a heartbeat. I just would. What? I do steroids. Oh, I'm thinking hemorrhoids. <laughs> I've got those. Those ain't nothing to fucking <laughs> shout about. <laughs> Yeah, let me tell you, nothing to write home about steroids, uh, st- uh, st- hemorrhoids. Pause for sound. Yeah. There's a dog. It's Diesel. Oh, so it reminds me. Yeah, what's up? I was going to send What's a, up? I was going to send a um, tweet because I was on the freeway the other day. And yeah. I dared to take a photo. <laughs> you, t- you took a photo on the freeway? It's like my mother it was who. A Saturday and there was only me and like a truck, and I took a picture of the truck because. Are you going to be like my mother and, no, and look on sorry. eBay on the freeway? No, that's completely. Stare. So she stare. All, she used to stare at first eBay. Of all, all I have to do is not even look at my phone and swipe to open the camera. I don't need. Uh, what? I don't have to look at it. I can look at the room. Yeah, that's true. Swipe to open my camera. Literally look down to find the button and then just go. Pff. That's what I did. Well, what picture did you take? We can share it on the pod. Um, uh, it's like those gasoline trucks. And the uh, aren't all trucks gasoline trucks besides diesel trucks? No, I mean it's transporting gasoline. Like the big. Gotcha. <laughs> like the one in Terminator. All right, I got gotcha. you. That was nitrogen, though. Same kind of truck. I know. Um, but the back of it said extreme diesel. <laughs> so I was going to, I took a picture of it and I was going to send. I was going to say to Vin Diesel, is this you? <laughs> Extreme Diesel. Because all the movies he's ever made are like... Extreme! Extreme. <laughs> Which I love, but it's also funny. Yeah. You still need to see the first triple X. Yeah, I've only seen the third one. Which is good. But I love the third one, yeah. The first one, because the first one... I saw the third one in the theaters, not having seen one and two. Diesel, Maybe. we're on radio. Could you fucking not? You can't whistle right now. I love you, but could you not? Oh my god. <laughs> Hold for dog. <laughs> I wonder if that picked anything up. Probably. <laughs> hey, Diesel. Diesel, how do you feel about the weather today? <laughs> I love doing that. 
Um, He's like, I don't know. I wish I'd eaten those steaks with you guys. Speaking of medieval, you got me a dope ass flagon yeah. made of wood from. Um, no. Finished. Finished. I'm sorry, baby. This is why we do this in bed. I can't remember. Oh, oh you got me the flagon. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's, the, it's, the Stein. it's medieval slash piratey vibes. It could go either way. There were pirates in medieval times. There are pirates in all times. Yeah. As, well, not all times, but... Well, just defined differently. But, like, pirates, as people think of them now, were in medieval times. Yeah. Wait. Is, was it though? Because I mean, like the Pirates of the Caribbean shit was. That's, that's much later. Yeah. Okay. That's like 1700s. Yeah, along the Spanish main. Excuse me. Um, no, but there are pirates. They just they weren't quite the same. Like, no, I know, but it was still as as long as there have been boats, there have been pirates. Yeah. Columbus was a cunt. Yeah, I know. I wish he had gone cunt. Someone else would have done the same shit, though. Probably. Yeah. Um, no, but it, especially, well, that's so, but you go back to Elizabeth. She's not long after medieval era. It's like a hundred years or so. You know what's crazy years. to me? Sorry. It's like a couple hundred years later. Yeah. Wait, what? Elizabeth from medieval times, by definition. Oh, okay. I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. But some people still call the Renaissance medieval because it's similar. I got gotcha. you. Except that it's much. It advanced quickly. Yeah. Um, that's still. Uh, it's, there's a lot there. Just, just go with it. <laughs> yeah. Were you gonna say something? I can't remember now. By the way, do you like this dope ass horse picture behind us, viewers? Yeah. No, all they can see is upside down. Or I guess listeners can't horse see the horse. Uh, it's reflecting them in water. Except I'm pretty sure. Okay. Describe it for the listeners. Well, so what you see there is just it's re- the same thing, but up, it's upright, so it's a mirrored thing. But I'm pretty sure it's done digitally. All right, because if you look at it on the. Because thing it looks like just upside down horses not just that but because you see their feet where the water's disturbed yeah the ripples would be coming out towards us all the way like the, all the water would be disturbed what are you saying if this were a real photo i thought it was reflection well how do you know they weren't just standing still they're horses well horses can't stand still no they can but they obviously have stepped in the water and ripples go outward right i like to believe that it's unaltered Fine. but i i'm not saying that makes it bad okay i'm saying that's i think that's what happened i call bullshit it's a real picture okay anyways it's still a beautiful picture yeah. of horses i know I've been all warm and sweaty today. I noticed. I wonder why that is. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Maybe you're wearing the wrong clothes. <laughs> oh, but I love this shirt. I don't know, babe. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I have nothing. Neither do I. Not, at least nothing else to think that I can think of. Oh, I mean, we're just not going to have a very good episode. That's all. Yeah. It's just and then, then that's fine. We, you know, why? Because we we do this for the for us. For us. Uh, we do it for the fun of it. Um, I, if you enjoy it, I'm so happy. It'll probably get better over time. Oh, pro- definitely. I mean, this is what our fifth one. Um, subject sounds though. Ever. I, think, so. I I didn't write anything down for this week. I know I, I should have. Well, 
I was so, we were so stressed out. Super stressed out. So we apologize for the shittiness of this episode. I'm really struggling here, motherfucker. This is going to be so, um, what's the, what's a good word for it? Blase. It's just very, it's like. Schnikes. Whatever, like, just super. Hey, can you, can you hand me one of those Tootsie Rolls while you're thinking about that? Yeah, um, but I'm really excited because we got this coffee maker. Oh, holy shit. All right, go on, go on, go on. Sorry, like, what is the word, though? Like, I'm excited about a coffee maker. I feel old. Adult. I guess. But so it's it's Melita Gavalia coffee maker. Mm-hmm. Melita and Gavalia. And they don't make them now. I Mm-mm. had to order this. I had to get it on eBay. Mm-hmm. It's like excellent condition, barely used. It was the coffee maker that I grew up on. They look the same, but Melita Gavalia is better. Um, And it's, so if you know what a Mr. Coffee looks like, it looks the same. It's a drip brew type. Mm. Four cup. Four cup coffee maker with the carafe and everything. Uh, This thing fucks, dude. It makes really good coffee. I have had this same. uh, Mine is espresso and like fancy coffee stuff just drip coffee just drip coffee you can't fuck with it dude it's It's the best um i'm so excited um they made them in the 90s and 80s yeah they don't make them anymore they just it was just a special thing where melita uh teamed up with gavalia Mm -hmm. and they made and you can get like gavalia coffee still and filters and yeah they made this one they made this product that was that's the best coffee maker of all time. And I will praise its name literally till the end of time. But if you want a good espresso maker, I do like the Jura. Uh, the Jura Caprice. I can't, there's no way I can like, afford one. They're super expensive. They're what? We just we have one because his aunt has one. Yeah. They're like, well, you, I think the cheapest one you can get is like $700. Oh, well, it's not bad. But if you want one that's like worth but that one's worth it, but like some minimum functions. Um, I mean, they get up to like four thousand dollars. Right. I mean, look up those sons of bitches. It's but they're nice and they're easy to take care of for espresso mm-hmm. machines. So we have literally the best coffee maker of all time coming in the mail. You know what I'm gonna get next is whenever I get another coffee thing, I want to get the uh, stovetop espresso. The one with the little uh, magician, yeah. the little uh, wizard on it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, the little wizard coffee maker. <laughs> I, it's an Italian company. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know they had uh, wizards in Italy. Of course they do. What do you mean, of course they do? Have you ever heard of an Italian wizard? Yes. Where? What? Be fantasy. specific. I don't Which know, fantasy? I exactly. Prove it. First of all, okay. First of all, you, you, I've told you this. Where the pentagram comes from? Yeah. Catholic Church. Is that in Italy? Where do you think Catholicism, as we know it, started? Italy. Roman Catholics. So there's a whole book um, called. Malara Maleficium about the proper use of magic. So men are allowed to use magic in in Catholicism as long as they're summoning demons to do quote unquote good, good things. Good things? <laughs> Which are never good things. What else would you summon a demon for? I mean Well in most of the time they they like Someone maybe know. just wants to be friends. Maybe but summon a demon and be like, What's up? Hmm. 
hmm. guy that slept with your brother's wife. It's just weird stuff. The but guy that slept with my brother's wife. The guy that slept with my brother's wife. What are you talking about? You just said that. That's what you just said. Yes. I was just letting that sink in. Uh-huh. Yeah, because I didn't know if it was a guy fucking my brother. <laughs> I mean, it could be. What? Early Speaking of guys fucking brothers. <laughs> I don't know. I was just thinking of homoeroticism. Which I love. Oh. <laughs> it, early Renaissance Italy. Mm, not lay it not on me, babe. countries necessarily, but some, a bunch of them, if you were gay, you were considered lucky. Dope. For real? Yeah. Not the Catholics. Yeah. Bullshit. Yeah. Not in every country in what we now know as Italy, but um, some of them. Is it in the Netherlands? No, I'm talking about Italy. Florence and Rome were like their own countries. Right. Hence, I've never heard of an Italian pirate. Fuck. I mean, wizard. There are loads of Italian pirates. Whatever. Um. <laughs> Maleficium, the books, and the demons, and they fucked my brother, okay? I get it. Um, I know that story. What do you mean? <laughs> well, I thought I was telling you a story, and now you're just like, you know, whatever. No, I'm not. I thought it was intriguing. <laughs> well, I don't know. Why are you making this? Well, Why am I making it funny? Oh, I'm not. Continue. Well, you cut me off and you're like, well, then there are no Italian wizards. It was a joke. Go on. But there aren't. I'm just saying. Anyways, women weren't allowed to do magic, of course. Cause Witchcraft. Yeah. That's dumb. If you were outside without a man, you were mm-hmm. considered a potential witch. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. <laughs> Holy shit, is that Kathy? Yeah. She's by herself. Why is she by herself? Outside by herself. Hey, Kathy. (laughs) Where's your man? She's barefoot too, guys. Oh, fuck. I think she's (laughs) praising Satan. (laughs) That was the kind of stuff, though. I mean, I would... So are these the same people that would uh, touch touch, uh, touch the gays for good luck? Okay. All of them. I'm just glad I'm not. I'm not. Maybe some things aren't great, but I'm glad I'm a woman right now because back then it just sucks. I'm glad I'm not religious. That too. I'm not. <laughs> people have been. People have done some pretty cool shit in the name of God, and by cool shit, pretty I mean sure. horrific shit. Sistine Chapel is in Rome. Pretty sure. I'm starting. To, I'm thinking about that now. It's gonna bug me. Google it. Do you have your all phone? I ever hear is the Sistine Chapel. I never hear about anything where uh, the Sistine Chapel is located in uh, Sistine, Indiana. In Indiana, am I correct? Because <laughs> yeah, <I may> well. <laughs> um, it's not. Because in Florence is is the Duomo. Florence of Alabia. The view of the Domo from Peter's Basilica. Oh, the view of St. Peter's Basilica from the Duomo. No, that is the Duomo. Are we talking about the tiny toy from Japan? No. It literally just means dome because of the shape. It's dome shaped. Okay. Also, it's crazy engineering for the time. Oh, I imagine. I don't know how to make a dome. I could, if you told me today to go out there and fucking build a dome, I'd be with bricks. You're out of your fucking mind. No. You want me to make a circle with fucking bricks? How about you go fuck yourself, pal? But it's nuts, and you can still go up in it. It's bullshit. It's crazy. 
so yeah, I'm sorry. Why are you Pretty sorry? Sure I, Romans, where is this penis? I have no idea. Why don't you, do you have any, we have the power of phones, yeah? I know, but I feel like I should. Just know it, because you're a historian. Well, I didn't specifically study Michelangelo either. That's so. true. In my defense. In your defense. Um, but I'm, yeah, in the Vatican City. Okay. Where's the Vatican City? I do, I know nothing about religious things. I know that a ninja turtle painted a chapel. I know that Judas Priest killed Jesus on the cross. Yeah, okay, in Rome. Huh? Oh, in Rome. It's in Rome. My bad. So, but also outside... What? I don't remember if it's outside the Sistine Chapel or if it's outside another building, but the um, the wolf sculpture, you remember that one? No. You haven't seen that? I showed you, I'm pretty sure. Geographically, I don't know a whole lot uh, away from sculptures. Lupa Capitolina. Yeah, it's got... That's ringing a bell. Babies drinking from a mother wolf. Oh, I will show this on the on the screen for those of you. Oh, yeah, I know this one. Yeah. I've yeah. Seen you. Not just you, but I've seen it in art history classes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I love this bad boy. Yeah. I'll show it on the... Uh, I'll show it on the YouTube bad version. <laughs> and thank you for watching. <laughs> On that terrible joke. Wow. It was fine. Fine. It was fine. Okay. Three, two, one. Oh, yeah, Sumi. Thank you. Sorry it was a bad episode. Um, get some entertainment. I hope you get some entertainment <laughs> uh, value out of it. But we, we had fun, right? Mm-hmm. Um, like us on Instagram, Aaron at. And me at I think it's again I I should double check this to be sure but I think I think it's Ride Dragon O five. Uh, check me out on Twitch. That's definitely Ride Dragon O five. Uh, maybe it's Ride Dragon five. I think it's O five because I think Ride Dragon five was taken. Um, the moon is out. It's love. It's a lovely crescent shape. Um, it's a waxing moon. Pirates are awesome. Um, Twitch, Instagram. You can buy the print version of our comic book at www.inktowl.com. I think they got it, babe. Um, I like pussy. <laughs>